Welcome to part number 42 of Gran Turismo 5 Ace Spec. This is the Moving Chicane, and today we're doing the Supercar Festival. Now, you're gonna notice that I have a gold trophy already, but that's because the Daytona race is what I was money grinding and level grinding for. So, obviously, I'm gonna repeat that race for everyone in the LP and the stream itself. Regardless, gotta go and, you know, choose ourselves a supercar for this race. The first race is a high-speed ring. For this race, I'm gonna go with... Let's go with the SL65. Why not? Sexy beast. The 12C, that car is going to be used for the MR Sports Car Cup in the uh, Expert Series. Oh boy, that McLaren F1 is going to be... That car is going to give us a lot of trouble. Maybe the Veyron, but in the corners the Veyron won't be anything. Here we go. For the first race at High Speed Ring. Okay, fourth attempt at this. That McLaren ahead of us is really difficult to get around. So hopefully we can get around him earlier. So dispose of the interceptor right away. Can we get the Viper before the braking zone? Holy shit, we're gonna get side by side with the McLaren. Now it's the ACR's turn to feel the wrath of the SL65 AMG. No, Barney, it's. Hey, Denny. Chris R., I've been looking for you. You have my money, right? Yeah, it'll be here. Just give me five minutes. Five minutes? You want five fucking minutes, Denny? You know what? I ain't got five fucking minutes. Let me ask you again. Where's my money? Where's my money, Denny? Where's my fucking money, Denny? That's how that line goes. Thick boy versus Wang boy. Big Wang boy. Chris R? Yeah, the, the guy who played Chris R was easily the best actor in the whole movie, but at the same time, I'll be honest with you guys, like... I, I think the thing is, is that... He only had that one line, he only... His scene wasn't really that badly written, I mean, sh sure. Like, okay, the scene had absolutely nothing to do with the plot of the movie, but on paper, like, the robbery scene alone is just... You're confronting one guy, that's it. You're confronting some little boy and trying to go and and get your money back. That's it. That's all you're doing. It's not like he had to film a love scene or anything or say ridiculous lines like, you think girls cheat like guys do? I don't have to think about that because my Lisa is loyal to me. But yeah, um, point is, is that Chris R scene wasn't really that bad. It's just you know, in terms of like acting execution. We're only talking about the greatest movie of all time, Vanya. It's the room. It's a really good movie, you should check it out. It's a it's a love movie. It's about like it's about this hardworking man who has his girlfriend cheat on him with his best friend, and it's just like a weird love triangle, you know, movie and it has to do about relationships and drug abuse and you know all this stuff it's it's great it's a masterpiece you should watch it i give it six stars out of five <laughs> yeah and dude oh she's going for the bottom okay gotta defend from the mclaren Nope. You're in the wall. If you dare do that again, the Toyota Pod will come after you, okay? Oh, 
Oh, did the, did the rough? Oh, never mind. They had a photo finish. <laughs> Sounds interesting, yeah. It, it's it's a masterpiece. Ender can agree with me on that. It's a, That movie is a masterpiece. Now, for all the right or the wrong reasons, that's up to you for... That's up to debate, but... My god, that movie is something else. Yeah, best underdog story of all time. The Room. God, forgive me. I've watched that movie way too many times. Anyways, off to Daytona. Even though I have a gold trophy there already because of level grinding, I'm going to do the race anyways. Because I have to. We're going to use this thing, the Lexus LFA, in super white too. I painted it white. I think hard tires will be okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually surprised that there's no McLaren F1 here, there's no uh, Bugatti. Those cars would be like the true heavy hitters in this comp in this particular race, but hey, I can't complain, right? It'll be- this makes my job much easier. The situation is, uh, Supercar Festival, the last championship we're gonna do in, in the stream. And yeah. I was thinking it was only a six speed. Roger, roger. Yeah, of course, the Maserati gets swallowed alive at the beginning. No surprises there. So, do not lift in the corners. Because remember, these AI drivers like to lift sometimes in the corners and stuff. The Salina 7 is going to do it for America and, you know, lead Daytona, of course. The Spiker, oh my god, side by side with the Saline. And I sail by. A tenth of his retweets are people showing off his underwear. That's something I would never buy, to be honest. Like, Tommy Wiseau underwear, I'm just kind of like... Meh. Like, yeah, it's funny and all, but I don't care too much for it. Honestly, like, I'd buy a shirt. I'd buy a hoodie. That's probably the closest thing I'd buy. Honestly. Listen to that cute little horn. So we gotta use our... We gotta do it for Dale and hold off the field. Do some sick blocks. Oh, if that was the final lap, we would've been so screwed. Oh, the Ferrari wants some action. Outside! Clear. I'm gonna stay on the bottom and break the toe a little bit. Because the AI cars do not follow me. Your mom was on board for the room stuff? Mm. <laughs> Good lord. The room just kinda like... Dude, that movie just... Oh, it's something else. It, it really really gets people, you know, talking about it all the time. I guess it's mission accomplished for Tommy, I suppose? Ooh, the back marker! He's gonna give us the toe! We went at Daytona. Sweet. They're giving us the black flag. Dude, that Corvette only goes, like, 120. Why did they put it in this race? Yeah, but he couldn't do it for Dale, Android. I did it for Dale. So, I deserve the win. Alright, just one more race to do in this video, and that's gonna be the race at the Nürburgring Grand Prix circuit. And for that, we're gonna be using... As this song plays, it's one of my favorites in this game. This thing, the Mercedes-Benz SLR McLaren. Maybe it was a war veteran. Good lord, Ender. Okay, tracks loaded up, and here we go. Okay, so trying this for a second time. Now I bought myself sport soft tires. 
just to give the car more grip. Oh, I see it now! How did I never notice that? Yo, that's so badass! They have a roller coaster at the track. And it's like an actual purpose built roller coaster, not necessarily something that gets brought to the track. Because, like, the closest I've ever seen in real life to, like, amusement. amusement park esque rides or something at a track was at Las Vegas Motor Speedway for the NASCAR weekends. They bring like a Ferris wheel and they bring some like carnival stuff out of turn four. It's actually really awesome. Oh, it's shut down. That sucks. Why did they shut it down, do you know? Probably costing them too much money, to be honest. So we're up to second. We were never this far up before in our previous attempt. The soft tires are definitely helping us out here, and I see a bunch of smoke behind me. Oh yeah, Suzuki and Daytona, that's right. How do I... I'm stupid. How do I forget about those two Ferris wheels? Those are like iconic Ferris wheels. Come on now. Like, Long Beach actually has a Ferris wheel as well, but it's just one brought by Toyota. And it's just Toyota for them promoting Toyota vehicles and stuff. Well, actually, since Toyota's not sponsoring the event anymore, that's probably going to change now. And then there's a Ferris wheel on around, like, turn 5 or turn 6. That I don't really see, you know, it's not really iconic or anything, just because it's one from the city for their shopping center called the Pike. Well, right behind the XG220. Damn, easily get around them. Yeah, I didn't know Lasar had one either. That's awesome, actually. I don't need to run this wide. I'm not driving the Red Bull. That's an okay horn. Oh, it's called the Norschleife. I didn't know that. Her, her, her. God, I want to attend this circuit one day. I don't care if it's as spec, you know, as a spectator for an event, or just to go to the track for the sake of going to the track, like I did to Laguna Seca two years ago. I just want to be here one day. That's it. And I'm gonna make it happen. I'm gonna come here one day to the Rubber Green. I really do mean that. That <laughs> lemons. Well, the 220 just went wide, picked up a bunch of grass and dirt. He's actually not that far behind, surprisingly. Alright, final lap. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, make it, make it, make it, make it, make it. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. At least I held the inside line. If I didn't, we would have been so screwed. Of 
course, the lads are right behind us. But I don't think they're gonna catch us or anything. <laughs> Tesla Keel. I don't want to redo this race because if I, I literally am running out of time for the stream today, so I just want to get this done right now, so I'm being really gentle, even though I'm kind of attacking the curves, I'm still being a little bit more gentle than I normally would be. I'm okay, but I think, as long as I don't screw up any corners again, I think I'm fine. 1.8 seconds, that's a pretty good gap. The S7 is closing in on the XJ220, so that will help us out a little bit, but it's still too late for them because coming out of the final corner, down to the pit wall to celebrate with the boys, and we win at the Nurburgring. Yay. Getting closer and closer to level 37, which maybe next time you guys see the next video or the next stream, I might be level 37 already with about 25% in, you know, 3 million extra points or so, because that's how much I need in order to not do any more level grinding. I need an extra 3 million points, because I did the math. I spent about an hour doing the math, like going to the events, checking out Rhino's videos, and adding up all the XP and whatnot. Anyways, that's the Supercar Festival done, and it is priced car time. Is it real? I thought you were joking. And we went to Maserati Gran Turismo S. Way better than the Hyundai Clicks or Klee that we won in the B-Spec mode. This car's not, it's not quite a super car in my opinion, but it's still better than a Hyundai concept. That doesn't really fit with the Supercar Festival type of car, but whatever. It's free, we can't complain. And it's premium. So it has a cockpit. And it's in black, so that's exactly the color that I wanted for this car. <laughs> the most brutal sounding non-American V8 ever. Oh, you're being serious in your opinion. Well, in this game, I don't think they did the car justice, but yeah. Here it is, the Maserati Gran Turismo S. So, next time on Gran Turismo 5, A-Spec, we're going to do the Gran Turismo Intermediate Rally, because I feel like it.